One of the lovely things for me about being in our parish this year has been to have He and Vu here with us as a seminarian on his pastoral placement. And that's in part because He and is a really good man in and of himself, and he's done some great things for our parish. But also, personally, because it, I can look at He and, and he reminds me of me when I was a seminarian doing my pastoral placement at Epping 26 years ago. And so I can look at him and remember the person I once was and look at how I've grown and changed and what God has done in my life in those last 26 years. And I wonder if that's a bit of a middle age thing to do, to look back at younger people who are doing things that we once did and to notice the, the change in ourselves. I'm sure people who are married or have children, you probably look at your own, own kids and look at them getting married, having their own children and remember back when you were their age doing what they are now doing. And maybe if you're not middle-aged, you probably still have this experience. Maybe you look at younger brothers or sisters or cousins or friends hitting those other little milestones of whether that's graduating from primary school, starting high school, having a first girlfriend or boyfriend, getting a first job, graduating high school, university, moving out of home, all those significant moments that we tend to remember for ourselves. We often look, we can look fondly at other people and notice, notice the change in, in the time since we were there with them. St Paul invites us to do this kind of reflection this week when we hear the second reading from Paul to the Philippians. When Paul says, I believe, I trust that God who has begun this good work in you will bring it to fulfilment when the day of the Lord comes. And so we get this sense of Paul inviting us to notice the good work that God is doing and has done and continues to do in us. And so it's really worth taking stock. It's a great thing to do at this end of the year, at the end of an you know, extraordinary year with COVID and lockdowns and the many challenges we've all faced. It's a good thing for us to stop and reflect, maybe on this year or maybe on a longer sweep of many years, to notice what is the good work that God has done in us. So perhaps it's worth looking, so Paul gives us a bit of a clue in the, in the reading we hear. He says, my prayer is that you, your love may increase more and more, so you never stop improving your knowledge, deepening your perception, so you can always recognize what is right and best, that you'll become pure and blameless. But what does that look like exactly in our life? Well, you might like to look in terms of virtues and vices. To look and say, is there a vice which I have conquered? If I look back at the start of this year or over many years, have I perhaps kicked a bad habit, whether that's smoking or gambling or drinking or eating to excess? Have I perhaps healed a broken relationship? Have I forgiven someone? Have I, have I let go of a grudge I once held? Have I become more compassionate, more tolerant? In fact, I've moved already to the virtues there, haven't I? Have I become compassionate, tolerant? Have I taken up a, a good habit? Have I become more reflective, more prayerful? Have I taken up a ministry or a charity or some good work of service? Are there good things which I'm doing now which I wasn't doing at the start of the period that I'm reflecting upon? These are the things which it's good for us to always look back and, and notice. And then to look with gratitude and say, this is the good work that God has done and is doing in me. It can be an encouraging thing to do. Other times we notice our failures and our sins, but it's good to also stop and take stock of what is good. This is the work of God, the presence of God, active in our lives. Now we get this reading here in Advent because it situates us where we are in this kind of middle point of history, where Jesus has come. He's come in the flesh, he's been born in Bethlehem, but he's now shared his spirit with us and invites us to then live with him before this end point of history, this day of the Lord, second coming of Christ, whatever that may, may actually look like, before this kind of this end period comes. And so we're invited to notice that we are in this, this space where God has begun to do good work in us and God will bring it to completion, to perfection, to fulfillment, which means there's still more to go. If we can notice the good work that God is doing, we can keep moving in that direction and ask God to do more, to expand our horizons, to deepen our virtues, to strengthen us more against our vices, because we all tend to have vices we tend to go to in, in, in stress and compulsion. So this is a great opportunity for us in Advent to stop and take stock of the good work God is doing. Perhaps while you're doing that, though, you may notice 
the areas of failure, the areas of sin. And so it is a good thing to go to reconciliation in Advent as well. Father Bogdan and I are offering reconciliation at four times during the week. At Epping, it is on uh, Monday nights from 6 to 7, and on Saturday mornings from 9.45 to 10.15. At St. Gerard's Carlingford, it is on Friday nights from 7.30 to 8.30, and Saturday nights from 5 to 5.30. And we'll actually offer a couple more times too in the last couple of weeks of Advent as well, and they'll be in the parish newsletter next week. But so for now, I invite you to notice the good work God is doing and to hear Paul's words as a blessing. They are, in fact, words spoken to a newly ordained priest in his ordination. They were spoken to me 22 years ago. They were spoken to he in two or three years' time. But Paul wasn't writing to priests. He was writing to everyone. I believe, and I'm quite certain, that the one who has begun this good work in you will see it it completed, see it finished, when the day of Jesus comes.